How's it going, guys? It is 2.29 a.m., 17th of April. Here in Japan, we have a past level question for surgery IM 2CK. Difficult question for step one of paddle biliary. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, element underscore medical, MHL, man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Nice start the clip. 45 year old woman, two month history of scleral icterus. Cholecystectomy 12 years ago for acute cholecystitis. Laboratory studies show direct bilirubin 1.5 milligrams per deciliter ALP 200. So total bilirubin should be 1.0. Direct should be 0.1. If direct is greater than 10% of total, then we have obstructive pattern. So even without the total here, the fact that the, the direct is 15 times greater than what it should be, we know that this speaks of an obstructive pathology in combination with the ALP, especially 50 to 150 normal. So Amylase, uh, normal, 100. So you say, well, I don't know the normal range for amylase. It's my observation on 2CK questions. They'll give it to you 1,200 if they want to elevate it. Okay, you say, well, what about lipase? Not my fucking opinion. They like giving you amylase in isolation. Antinuclear antibody titers negative. It just means we don't have an autoimmune disease here. So ANA, not specific for any one condition, highly sensitive for autoimmune diseases. So if it's negative, we can rule out. Which the following next best step in diagnosis? Let's just whip through the answer choices. Choice A, anti-mitochondrial antibodies, wrong fucking answer for primary biliary cirrhosis. Be woman, 20s to 50s, generalized paritis, high cholesterol. And they'll tell you history of autoimmune disease in her or the family. They can say she has type 1 diabetes mellitus, brother has rheumatoid arthritis, mom has SLE. doesn't matter. They can tell you that there's a stone visualized in the, in the gallbladder, which will confuse some students, but it can just be incidental. High cholesterol. So you can get cholithiasis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, C to the abdomen contrast, correct answer, diagnosis is pancreatic cancer. Okay, so this is pass level for 2CK. You have a, an obstructive pattern here in the setting of normal pancreatic enzymes. Now, this is going to be one of two things, almost always, okay? It's going to be cholidocolithiasis, which is a stone in the biliary tree. Now, we know that that's not the case because she had a cholestectomy performed 12 years ago. There's no way that there's a stone here. Okay, if they want cholidocolithiasis, then we could have a cholecystectomy performed a week ago where intraoperative cholangiography was not performed. So there might be a retained stone in the proximal cystic duct that then descends into the common bile duct. So that's often cholidocolithiasis in Yosemite, but we don't have a stone here. So they like giving you normal pancreatic enzymes. This is exceedingly high yield. You do not have elevated pancreatic enzymes in pancreatic cancer, okay? So they don't have to give you a smoker who's had weight loss. That's classic for pancreatic cancer. So they could tell you 50-year-old woman, heavy smoker, recent weight loss. They don't mention anything about having had her gallbladder taken out years ago. That's also pancreatic cancer, right? Here, we don't give you all those risk factors, but then we tell you that there's no gallbladder. So you can infer that pancreatic cancer is most likely here. So you're going to do CT admin to diagnose. And if they tell you in the last line, you get a question that sounds like pancreatic cancer. And then they tell you CT admin shows no abnormalities. That's going to be cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct cancer. And you're going to do ERCP to diagnose that. Okay. Usually just smoking. All right, Clonorchis sinensis, a trematode, nonsense, but that can also theoretically cause cholangiocarcinoma. So ERCP, wrong fucking answer. This is done for gallstone pancreatitis. So if we gave you the same direct bilirubin, high direct bilirubin, ALP, with elevated pancreatic enzymes, gallstone pancreatitis, you have a stone that's descended, that's blocked off the hepatopancreatic ampulla. Okay, hepatopancreatic ampulla, you block that off then you can get a backup of pancreatic enzymes to the pancreas, not, uh, and then you get enzymatic fat necrosis, okay? So that's ERCP. You're, you're going to do ultrasound first, followed by ERCP. They usually just want ERCP as the answer. Uh, can also do ERCP to diagnose cholangitis. I've seen that in USMLE, so primary sclerosis cholangitis, uh, as well as just ascending cholangitis, okay? I have never seen MRCP. Magnetic resonance, uh, cholangiopancreatography as a correct answer in USMLE. I've only seen it as a wrong answer. Okay, students ask about that. I mean, sure, by all means, it could be done to visualize combiotics. I just, I've just only seen it as a distractor. Wrong fucking answer.
choice D liver biopsy, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be for biliary atresia in neonates. They're going to tell you a kid up to the age of six weeks old has super fucking elevated direct bilirubin. They'll give you a big paragraph. They'll say direct bilirubin is 15, uh, total is 16. And it's a long discussion as far as pathologic jaundice. I don't want to go down that route right now. But the point is, you're going to get a neonate plus super elevated direct bilirubin. That's just biliary atresia. And you're going to do a liver biopsy to confirm. Okay, you do ultrasound first. They'll ask for liver, but how do you confirm the diagnosis? The answer is liver biopsy. Uh, treatment, more miscellaneous. Okay, there's Kasai procedure, liver transplant. But USMLE, they just care about liver biopsy to confirm that diagnosis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice the ultrasound, the admin, wrong fucking answer. This would be done for standard cholithiasis, okay? So stone in the gallbladder. I said a moment ago that also would be done prior to ERCP for cholidocolithiasis, stone in the biliary tree. But yeah, just standard cholithiasis. And also for cholecystitis, which is just cholithiasis plus fever, you do ultrasound the abdomen first as well. If the ultrasound is negative for cholecystitis, then you do a HIDA scan. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. Make to make more content. Like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.